Next is the losses due to the drawing of the wages. This kind of losses is related to the post tension member, particularly related to the anchorage of the steel tendon in the member. During the jacking operations, steel tendons is jacked by using the hydraulic jack. The compressive force is applied onto the pre-stressed concrete member and you know that the steel tendon stretches under the tension force. Once the hydraulic jet is being released, the steel tendon tends to shorten for recovery to the original shape. However, due to the anchor that prevents the shortening of the steel tendon, the stress is retained by the pre-stressed member and through this, the pre-stressed load is effectively being transferred onto the pre-stressed member. You know that the anchor relies on the mechanical interlocking mechanism so that the pre-stressing force can continuously apply onto the member. Before this mechanical interlocking mechanism takes full effects, there will be a small degree of drawing which is known as the drawing of the wages. This drawing of the wages allows some degree of shortening of the steel tendon and this has resulted some magnitude of losses in terms of the pre-stressing force. Therefore, we will need to consider the effect of the drawing of the wages. To quantify the losses due to the drawing of wages, these equations may be used. The P here represents the frictional loss per length. As the student is in the pre-stressing condition, and shortening of the steel tendon will involve contact with the tatting in the post-tension member, there will be frictions between the tendons and the duct. Therefore, the frictional force will apply. It is assumed that the frictional loss caused by the contact between the steel tendon and the ducting is uniformly distributed throughout the length of the tendon. Therefore, we use this P as the frictional force calculated from the previous calculation step divided by the total length of the beam span. Next, we need to quantify this L. It represents the drawing loss per unit length, which is given by this equation. The square root of the data times APS times ES per P. This P is the frictional loss per length the ES represents the elastic modulus of the steel. APS represents the total tendon areas. And the data here represents the drawing of the wages. In order for you to quantify the losses due to the drawing, you will need to first determine the losses due to the friction and substitute the relevant value into the equations you obtain the losses due to the drawing of the wages.